stand by for the latest episode of the Biz News Flash Briefing. The latest news from the world of business and investments. South Africa's official unemployment rate rose to a new high in the first quarter as the construction and trade industries shed jobs. The jobless rate rose to 32.6% from 32.5% in the three months through to the end of December. This is according to Statistics South Africa. Unemployment, according to the expanded definition, which includes people who were available for work but not looking for a job, rose to 43.2% from 42.6% the previous quarter. South Africa's official unemployment rate is the third highest of 82 countries tracked by Bloomberg. The World Health Organization has changed the way it names COVID-19 variants in an effort to destigmatize some countries. The major variants of concern have been renamed with the UK variant called Alpha. South Africa's variant is now called Beta. Results variant has been given the name Gamma and the India variant is now referred to as Delta. India has another variant which has been named Kappa, while a US-specific variant is being referred to as Epsilon. The first known variant, which was identified in Wuhan, China, is not present on the list published by the World Health Organization. South African miner Sabanya Stillwater says it will buy back up to 5% of its shares in the market, or about 10 billion rands worth of the stock. Sabanya reported a massive increase in first quarter core profit last month on the back of higher prices for metals including gold, platinum, palladium and rhodium. In a statement, Chief Executive Neil Froneman says the board considered the repurchase as the most appropriate and value-enhancing allocation of surplus capital. Median pay reached 13.4 million US dollars for chief executives of the biggest US companies in 2020. This sets a fifth straight annual record in a year when businesses and their leaders battled a global pandemic. Most S&P 500 CEOs got raises of about 5% or more as their companies recorded annual shareholder returns of about 8%. This is according to BizNews premium partner, The Wall Street Journal. And that was your BizNews Flash Briefing. I'm Jackie Cameron for Biz News. For more on those and the other big stories of the day, visit biznewsradio.com. You've been listening to the Biz News Flash Briefing, bringing you the latest news from the world of business and investments. Subscribe to Biz News Radio on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, or by visiting biznews.com.